Hello and welcome, PML fans. I'm your host, Admin Joe here, and with me I have Globber, coach of the Persian Prowlers. Hey, what's up, everybody? Hey, Globber, how you doing today, man? Yeah, I'm doing really well. Thanks for asking, and I'm really excited for this draft league. It is my first one. Oh, awesome, man. So that brings us to our first question. Uh, what made you want to join a draft league? Yeah, so as you know, I have a channel with Devon, so, you know, I, I've seen he was talking to you guys, and since he decided to join, you know, he told me about it, and I felt really excited as well, and I never had actually, you know, time to play it, you know, so I decided to join as well, and I would like to take the opportunity, and thank you for inviting me, and yeah, I'm really happy. Oh, yeah, man. Glad to have you here. You have two awesome logos that you made for you and Devin. Um, how'd you do those on Photoshop? Oh, yeah, thanks. So, yeah, I, I've been using Krita, so I'm just really new to that. So I'm, I'm just still, you know, learning. And But actually, I always liked drawing and everything, so I got to work with that now, and I'm doing some, you know, arts for my channel. So, yeah, it's Krita. So did you freehand those letters in the logos? Yes, uh, yeah, I think for this one actually, yeah, I've done something like that, you know, I've been working with some stuff or from the, uh, how can I say, from the Krita itself, mm -hmm. and I think for one of the logos I've done myself, just, you know, like getting some uh, rating styles and working out a little bit on it. Oh, yeah, man. Great effects on it as well. Cheers. All right, man. That brings us to the second question. Obviously, you already said this is your first draft league. So what I want to ask you is what drew you to the PML draft of all the other drafts? Yeah, as, as I said before, you know, since Devin was talking about it, you know, and he told me that he would join and everything, and I was like, oh, that would, would be really good, like, if I would be able to, you know, participate as well, so, yeah, so basically, for me, it was a really nice opportunity, you know, to be playing with other guys that are really good in it, I've been watching your channel, and I've had a look on the other guys as well, and I thought it would be a really good opportunity for me to grow, you know, and learn more about it. Oh, yeah, man. It's going to be awesome, I'm sure. Uh, How would you feel about the draft, uh, like, um, the way it w the way we picked our Pokemon? Yeah, like, for, for me, it was, was really good. It was really interesting, you know. I've To say the truth, I've never been in a draft league before, you know. So there was many things that I was, you know, basically it was first time, you know, I'm learning still how it, it works. So, you know, even, I'm sorry if I got something wrong, but... You know, for me, it worked well, you know, I think it was well divided, you know, you got, like, really strong Pokemon for the Tier 1, for example, you know, Gyarados, Cinderace, and Togekiss, you know, so I think it was really fair the way you guys have divided, so I like it. All right, man, that's awesome. Now we can move on to uh, questions about your team. Obviously, everyone wants to win. What do you hope to accomplish with your draft team strategically? Yeah, so I think, you know, as you said, of course I would like to, to win, but mostly have fun, you know, and being able to play with other really good, you know, uh, people that know a lot about the games, you know. For me, it's a really nice opportunity, you know. And, of course, I would like to learn more about this Pokemon I don't get to use much, you know, so I've got the opportunity, you know, there are some Pokemon I haven't played yet much, but I'm looking into it and I'm, you know, making lots of strategies, so for me it's it's really fun now, it's being really fun. Is there any particular strategy you'd like to share with us that you plan on doing? Yeah, Sorry. like, well, of, yeah, of course I will try not to spoil much, but, you know, I think... Mostly with Shoko, you know, I think Shoko is a really defensive Pokemon, really good. He's able to set, like, rocks, you know. So I think, as well as with Gyarados, you know, being able to use the Moxie, 
and Moxie ability. And once you get to defeat a Pokemon, he gets stronger. So I think Gyarados is really, really nice, pretty really good. So I think that I, I plan to be, you know, I, I, most of my teams are not so fast. So maybe I would be working with Trick Room. I'm not sure, you know. So yeah, something around that. Oh yeah, That's, that seems like you have a lot of diversity. You plan on pulling off with your team. <laughs> yeah. All righty. So we can move on to the next question here. Which Pokemon that you drafted do you think will impact your season the most? Mm, yeah, so I think one Pokemon that I, oh, I, I've been playing like a long time ago and I always liked was Tangela. So I was like, mm, okay, I saw Tangrowth being really defensive. I never actually used Tangrowth, but then look into its moveset, you know. I was like, mm, actually, he's really good. Like, he's able to heal. You know, like he's able to set some, you know, set up some uh, stuff like against, you know, the enemies. Like he's able to uh, poison, he's able to paralyze as well. So I think Tangrowth was, would be one of the Pokemon, you know, like that would uh, surprise, you know, because I have other strong Pokemon on my team, but I think Tangrowth would be you know, something different. Oh, yeah, man. And it's great because you're w one of the only coaches who chose a defensive Pokemon as a Pokemon that would really help your team the most. And I think uh, the defensively, that's what's really going to win games. Yeah, I I've noticed as well, like, most people go, you know, like, more, like, straight for forward, like, attacking, you know, like, and I think sometimes you have to use a little bit of you know, be more strategic, you know, like being more defensive, you know, stuff like something I, I've noticed you you guys have done is like people are not going to be able to use like sleep so much, you know, so it's something that, you know, it's interesting. So I think, you know, I was thinking mostly you like to be more defensive and annoying like that, but actually it's going to be more interesting, you know, dealing with other stuff, you know. Yeah, so, like we have the sleep clause and all that. Yeah. So I think uh, it's interesting to be more defensive as well sometimes. Okay. And, um, of course, Shuckle's annoying. Uh, what what do you basically plan on running with that? Just a normal uh, Stealth Rocks bulky set? Yeah, with Shuckle, you know, I think it's like he is really defensive and I was planning mostly, you know, to being able to set the, you know, the rocks. So when someone, like, when people used to change the Pokemon for another one, you know, so you would get hurt. And I think as well, with its move Power Trick, that swaps his defense to its attack, you know, would be really good as well. And his able uh, he would be really good as well in trick room he would work really well in trick room as well so yeah okay and uh earlier this week you actually made a trade you dropped yep. right on for espion uh do you have any reasoning behind the bulky defensive mon for a more offensive pokemon yeah you know as you know you know i was I, I think I, I was uh, earlier. Uh, I was thinking of changing maybe Mr. Rhyme for Yuglatuff, but then I wasn't able, you know. And actually, it was good for me. It worked out well because uh, I've noticed that I had a lot of defensive Pokemon on my team, mm -hmm. and with Espeon, you know, I would be able to have a healing Pokemon, and he is a psychic and really strong for special attacks. So actually, I thought I think it worked well for me in this, like, you know, <laughs> mm -hmm. in the end. And um, you have Alolan Marowak, and obviously, it really needs that Bone Club to really be powerful. Do you think uh, knockoff is going to be a hindrance to it at all? Yeah, I think Alolan Marowak. Yeah, it would be, you know, uh, he is a strong Pokemon, and so. What was your question again, sorry? Oh, sorry. Um, 
Alolan Marowak is obviously going to have to be holding that bone club to have the amazing attack power. Oh, yeah, sure, yeah. Do you, do you think you're going to struggle with knockoff Pokemon trying to knock it off? Yeah, I think, you know, of course it can happen, so I have to be, you know, prepared for that. So uh, I was thinking, you know, to have something like short stands or something that would be able to, you know, uh, make him stronger in case this happens. So, yeah, this is something... Uh, I've been thinking about as well, but yeah, I don't think it will be a big problem. Okay, and also about your team, I noticed it's kind of dark week. Uh, do you have anything you really you, you're for sure you can combat that with? Dark week. Uh, combat that with like, do you think uh you'll be able to handle dark types pretty well? Dark types. Yeah, I think for for dark types. Yeah, I think uh, you know, like there are, I have a variety of Pokemon, uh, so you know, I would be able to get some moves to be, you know, to be able to go against it. So, you know, I'm still looking into it, but I I noticed that I have a, like a big variety of Pokemon there that would be able to work well with that. Okay, and then we move on to one of our last questions here. What team do you think will be your biggest challenge against this season? Yeah, so I think the one of the teams that was I'm a little bit worried is the LA Needle Needle Kings, is it? Yes. LA Needle Kings. Yes, so because I've noticed that of course he, he got like one of the strongest the, and the fastest Pokémon that's Cinderace. And being able to change its types, it's, you know, really challenging. Mm -hmm. And as well as he's got Weezing that can get rid of the enemy's, you know, abilities. So not mention Melodic that's really defensive as well. So I think he would be a big competition, you know. And I'm not taking sides, but just mentioning as well, I think... You know, the Rising Raichu, you know, uh, Togekiss, I think, is a really strong Pokemon as well. It can be really defensive and really strong. So I think Togekiss I would worry about a little bit as well. So, But mostly the Needle Kings, I think, will have like a, a more challenging more challenging Pokemon in, in its team. Yeah. Okay, and then we'll finish off with the last question. Um, if you had an obscure superpower, so not like the traditional ones, like super strength and speed, mm -hmm. what would you choose to have? Okay. Like, like wow. for, okay, you got me there. <laughs> like, for example, I chose to be able to summon my favorite foods whenever I wanted. So something, you know, weird and unique to you. Okay, oh, well, that's interesting. So... Well, something I would like to to see, maybe uh, I would like to see, to be able to see how much whatever kind of food would weigh. So, you know, I wouldn't get too fat. Okay. <laughs> so natural being able to prep food without a scale. Yes, that's it. Oh, that'd be awesome, man. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't know so much about eating just salad, you know, mm -hmm. which I don't. <laughs> but sometimes I feel like so, you know, like overwhelmed with so much, you know, cakes and everything. So, you know, I wouldn't worry so much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, man. Well, thank you for coming with us. And is there anything left you'd like to say to the viewers? Yeah, I would like to thank everybody, you know, for the opportunity. And I'm really excited for the Draft League. And thank you as well for inviting me. And, yeah, I can't wait for that <laughs> all right man well that was globber with the persian prowlers and we'll see you guys next time see you guys bye